the Canadian Border Security Agency have a clear cut on regulations regarding the items that should not be allowed in Canada. And this is because some of these items can be very harmful to the ecosystem of Canada. So this is a long awaited video and guys, I'm so sorry for posting this really late. But of course, you know, when it comes to information like this, a thorough background check and research needs to be properly done in order to make sure that the right information is communicated to you guys. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some items that should not come along with you to Canada. So number one on my list is large quantity of palm oil. If you must bring palm oil, please do not bring it in large quantity. Moderate size, small quantity preferably. I remember before we came over to Canada, there was a particular flight where a lady carried, I think, 15 liters of palm oil. She had different kegs in her check-in baggage. And this palm oil made a huge mess of her baggage and other baggages belonging to other passengers. You can imagine how palm oil can be very destructive. The greasy nature and also the color of palm oil does not help matters. It was a big deal. When those passengers arrived and they were just about to pick up their bags, they discovered that their personal belonging had been stained with palm oil. This is an item that is not scarce, that is readily available here in Canada. And so I'll suggest you just bring them in in small quantity. Second on my list is honey. Make sure that whatever honey you're bringing into the country is in moderate quantity or small quantity and does not have any properties like meat or poultry filling in it. You know, some people use honey as a seasoning or marinade. So all of those is not allowed, not allowed, not a. Loud. Number three, anything that contains poultry seasoning or frozen poultry, like your chicken, boiled chicken, and all of those things. No, and oh no, it's not allowed. Things like your chicken noodles, your chicken bouillon cubes, please do not bring all of those items in Canada when coming down. All of those items can be gotten easily in any of the grocery stores here in Canada or even in your African store. Another one is your milk. Milk is not allowed. Powdered milk, liquid milk, whatever type of milk is not allowed in Canada. Momo, your cow skin, either fresh or smoked or cooked or fried, not allowed. Also, when it comes to your meat, either dried meat, fried meat, suya, kilishi, ham, sausages, all of these items are not allowed. Over here, you also have something that looks like um, suya or kilishi, they call it jerkies. Um, you can get this at the stores, but I think these particular ones have been dehydrated. So it's very chewy and also you have different type of seasonings. I remember doing one of the videos that I had posted previously about the Regina food market. On that video, I bought jerkies. So in case you really don't know what jerkies look like, I'm just gonna leave the video in the description box so you can just go watch it and you get to see what exactly I'm talking about. But better still, it's safe to bring your suya spice and then you can make yourself a very delicious steak or suya here in Canada. Fresh fruits and vegetables is a no-no because they have the potential of carrying insects. Your fruits like mango, oranges, apples, cabbage, vegetables like a spinach, ugu, water leaf, and the likes. They come with different type of insects and these insects can be very, very harmful to the crops here in Canada. Dried vegetables have been banned from coming into Canada, but you can get all of these items, your fresh bitter leaf, uziza, at, um, achara. All of these items can be bought in any African store closest to you. Also your beans. Beans is a leguminous plant and you know beans has the potential of carrying insects. If you must carry beans, 
make sure that it is peeled and you can then blend it so if you haven't seen the video where i spoke about the things you can bring to canada i will highly recommend that you watch that video after now because there i mentioned if you are a beans lover you can bring in blended beans and that blended beans can be used for your moi moi or your akara and you can still have a swell time eating your local food another example is your seeds so plant seeds like ugu seed water leaf seed i'm sure you've been thinking in your head that ah, all these vegetables it's not possible for me to just bring the seed in and plant them no it is not allowed but over here there's some companies that specializes in selling seeds so you can approach them buy from them and plant them in your garden here in Canada. Also, your home articles like furniture made from wood. You just want to make sure that whatever you're bringing into Canada does not have the potential of harboring any invasive species. Invasive species like your insects, like um, pests, whatever thing cobwebs and furniture are five and six so you just want to make sure that all of those things are totally rolled out if you like running you have hiking boots running boots all of those items have the potential of keeping soil keeping debris you know in the sole of those you know shoes so you want to make sure that whatever shoe you're bringing in your beloved hiking shoe or your beloved running shoes make sure that they are properly cleaned Better still, I suggest you let go of those ones and you come over here buying a set of running boots, which of course, in my previous video, I had taken you to a liquidation store where you can get items that are brand new and very, very cheap. I go there all the time because it saves me a lot of money and I'm getting the same value that I would get from any other store. I had taking time out to take you guys to a second-hand store where you can get items from home improvement items to your clothes and shoes and so so many 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 things on there you get them cheap as well and you also have the third option which is by going to a store like your Macy's store your Nike store H&M and the likes you have all of those stores here as well so it's just for you to choose from any of those stores that i've just mentioned and go purchase yourself a new set of running boots or hiking out when it comes to medication there are specific requirements that you need to adhere to in order to bring those medications into canada number one those medications needs to be in an original retail package still sealed nothing untouched nothing broken two it must be in a package dispensed by the hospital or the pharmacy so you know how the pharmacy or the hospital the way they you know write one per day three times per day on those their ziploc little medical you know pouches that needs to be there so you just want to make sure that you are well protected in terms of being compliant with all of this item thirdly it must have its original label on it so don't bother breaking any seal just leave it the way it is and bring it down to canada other items like cannabis explosives not allowed any type of weapon whatsoever not allowed things like your mosquito coil your mosquito repellents insecticides mosquito nets it is not allowed when you land in canada you can take care of all of those things in fact the other day when i went to the store i saw red red insecticide i haven't seen mosquitoes since i landed i don't know maybe because of the area where i stay but i know during summer it gets really hot and you begin to see all the sun flies yeah sun flies are normal because they also live in all this um greenery area where you have lots of grasses so they are always there they will bite you but mosquito i haven't actually seen mosquito and i haven't you know fallen ill of malaria since i got here in canada so it's actually nothing to worry yourself about and lastly cash above ten thousand canadian dollars is also not allowed you are expected to be able to assess your investment and your cash through your online banking portal and you can easily um you know transfer these into your Canadian bank and have it saved 
or better still you can invest it into other investment options available here in canada so that brings us to the end of the video i hope you had a nice time and thank you so much for sticking around with me i will see you in my next video till then stay blessed and goodbye have a wonderful day